Hello friends, welcome to our Mathematics Grade 7 program. You have already learned about fractions, how to perform arithmetical operations involving fractions, and how to solve word problems involving fractions. So in today's lesson, we will learn how to make use of decimals. Decimals, I'm sure you must have seen decimals everywhere around you. What is a decimal number is what we are going to learn in today's lesson. We will also learn how to convert fractions to decimals and how to convert decimals to fractions. We will then learn how to compare and order decimals. We will also learn how to perform addition and subtraction involving decimals. So let us look at some real life examples where you have come across decimals. So for example, a sweet can cost 1 rupee 50. Or I can go and buy 2.75 kilograms of potatoes. We very often buy 1.5 liter of water. Or we can also find real life examples of decimals on a receipt at the supermarket or sometimes when we are going to weigh ourselves or if I'm going to purchase fuel. So these are some real life examples of decimals. So what is the decimal number system? We in fact use the Hindu Arabic or decimal number system to represent numbers. Decimal numbers have been used by ancient Chinese previously and it is also widely accepted by mathematicians. We use the decimal notation system and John Napier was the one who made the decimal point common in mathematics. Let us now consider the concept of place value. We consider the number 52.467. So 5 here represents 5 tenths. The 2 represents the 2 units. And here is the decimal point to represent a decimal number. Now be very careful, the 4 represents the tenth. That is, I have 4 tenths. The 6 will be the 600th and the 7 will be the 7,000th. So a decimal number consists of what we call a whole number part, a decimal point and a fractional part. So here if I consider 5.38, 5 is the whole number part. This is the decimal point and 38 is the fractional part. Now we are going to look how to convert fractions to decimals. We have different types. We consider the first one, type 1, fractions whose denominators are powers of 10. Let us consider the example, convert the following into decimals. So we have three parts here. The first one, 7 over 100. So 7 over 100 here, I have two zeros in the denominator. So I have to move the decimal point to two places to the left. So 1, 2. And I'm going to get 0 0.07. So 7 over 100 is same as 0 0.07. Now, 29 over 1,000. So here I have three zeros in the denominator. So I will have to move the decimal point to three places to the left. 
This gives me 0 0.029. Now, 123 over 1,000. So here again, I have three zeros in the denominator. Again, I will have to move the decimal point to three places to the left. So I get 0 0.123. The second type of fractions where the denominators can be expressed as powers of 10. So let us consider the example where we have to convert the following to a decimal. The first one, one quarter. So I'm going to try and express the 4, that is the denominator, in terms of a multiple of 10. So I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 25 so that I get 25 over 100. And just like we did in the previous example, we have two zeros in the denominator, so I'm going to move a decimal point to two places to the left, and I get 0 0.25. The second one, 7 over 8. So again, I try to express 8 as a multiple of 10. So I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 125, so that I get 1,000 in the denominator. So this gives me 875 over 1,000. So I have three zeros in the denominator, and I have to move the decimal point to three places to the left. So I get 0 0.875. Now, let us consider the part C, 3, 9 over 10. So here I have a mixed number. 9 over 10 can be represented as 0 0.9 in decimal form. So I get 3.9, which is the answer. The last part, 2 1 fifth. So for 1 fifth, I have to convert it to a decimal number. And I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 20 to get 20 over 100 which gives me 0 0.2. So 2 one fifth is same as 2.2 in decimal form. We now consider the reverse process, that is how to convert decimals to fractions. So let us consider the example, convert each of the following into a fraction in its lowest term. The first one, 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 is same as 15 over 100. And this can be reduced to its simplest form as 3 over 20. For part B, 5.42. Now this 0 0.42 is in fact 42 over 100. And 42 over 100 can be reduced to its lowest term as 21 over 50. So 5 decimal 42 can be written as 5 21 over 50. Now that we have learned how to convert fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions, we move to comparing and ordering decimals. So let us see this example. Arrange the following in ascending order. You can see that many of the digits start with 4 or 5. I'm going to use the concept of place value to solve this problem. So let us consider this table. The first digit was 4.5. So I write it using the previous example that we did at the beginning, 4.5. Because there is nothing here, I add the zeros. Adding zeros after will not change the original number. For example, 4.52 can be written as 4 decimal 5, 2, 0. 4.05 is 4.050. Similarly, you can rewrite the following numbers in the table. And now, to be able to arrange the numbers in ascending order, I start with the smallest. So if we look at these numbers, we can see that we have 
four digits starting with the number four. So I have to decide which one is the smallest. So I look at the next column and I can see here zero. The others have five and two in the tenth column. So this means that this one is the smallest digit. Then the next one will be four decimal two five one. Now if I consider these two, both have five in the tenth column. So which one is smaller? I move to the next column. So here I have zero and I have two. So obviously 4.500 is smaller as compared to 4.520. So I can now rearrange the following numbers in ascending order. We do the same for the digits starting with five. Here's the answer. The numbers have been arranged in ascending order. We now move on to addition and subtraction of decimals. Very important note is when we add or subtract two or more decimal numbers, we need to place the numbers in the correct place value column. So let us tackle a few questions. The first one, 5.62. Plus 3.75. So I have to be very careful. The decimal point should be below the decimal point, And I try to write the digits one and the other. I start here. 5 plus 2, 7. 6 plus 7, 13. Decimal point should be below the decimal point, And then I add. So this is the first answer. The next one, 15.78 minus 9.65. Again, I put the decimal point under the decimal point. And I subtract 8 minus 5, 3. 7 minus 6, 1. So I put the decimal point here. 5 minus 9, I cannot, so I borrow. And I get... 6.13. Now we move to the next one, which is slightly different. So 21.39 plus 5 decimal 647. So you can see that here I have three digits after the decimal point, whereas here I have only two. So what I do, I simply put a zero. And now I can start adding 0 plus 7, 9 plus 4, which is 13. So here I have 1 plus 3, 4 plus 6, 10. And I add 1 plus 1 plus 5. And here there is nothing, so 2. The next one, 35.07. Minus 6.16. So again, here there is nothing, so I put it 0. Now I have to subtract. 2 minus 0, 7 minus 6. Now 0 minus 1 I cannot, so I borrow. I get 10 minus 1, 9. Decimal point under decimal point. 4 minus 6 I cannot, I borrow. So I get 14 minus 6, which is 8, 2 minus 0, which is 2. Now for the last part, you have both addition and subtraction. So let us start with the first part, which is addition. 16.05 plus 3.6. So again, I have to put a zero here, and I add. So decimal point under decimal point, 6 plus 3, 9, 1 plus 0, 19.65. Now I have to subtract 10.6, 10 10.93, sorry. So 5 minus 3, 2, 
6 minus 9 I cannot, I borrow. So 16 minus 9, 7. 8 minus 0, 8. 1 minus 1, 0. Decimal point and the decimal point. So we have looked at how to add and subtract decimal numbers. Here are some exercises for you to practice. You can see there are different types of questions, some involving ascending order, descending order. You also have a question involving ordering, comparing greater, less, or equal to, and also some questions involving addition or subtraction, or even both, addition and subtraction. Try to find some time to practice these questions. So we have reached the end of the lesson, and let us quickly go through what we have learned today. So we have learned what is a decimal number, how to convert fractions to decimals, how to convert decimals to fractions, how to compare and order decimals, and how to perform addition and subtraction involving decimals. So friends, we have reached the end of today's lesson. There will be a second part dealing with decimals, namely multiplication and division of decimal numbers and how to solve word problems involving decimal numbers. So I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and we shall meet again for the next part of decimal numbers. Thank you.